Alright y'all, Mighty Mouse UFL on the YouTube, subscribe guys. Look man, I'm getting ready to take you guys through a crazy chest routine. Um, as you guys know, I warm up. Um, for those who don't know, I warm up a lot uh, on the pull-ups or I use the pull-down. So instead of using the pull-ups and doing the pull-down machine today, this warms up my entire body, my entire upper body, man. So, but I'm going to take you guys through a nasty chest routine, guys. I'm going to be pausing and breaking this video down for you, telling you the sets that I'm doing and what I'm doing instead of playing it straight through. Otherwise, you're going to be on here for two hours with me. So, I got my pre-workout, my BCAAs, uh, my fiber, my turmeric, my green powder, and my fruit powder all in one, one bottle. All right? First set of warm up. All my uh, all my warm-ups I try to do till failure. I actually go all the way up to the stack, which is 260 pounds. Um, right now I'm on uh, 160, but uh, I'll show you guys. We're gonna keep doing. All right. I usually do about five or six sets of these to warm up. Second set of warm ups. That was a 180. I'm gonna drop up to 220 now. 220. set going up to 260 260 for the last set all right here we go 260 after this set your body should be pretty warm man your body should be pretty warm and we'll be able to start hitting our chest i'm going to show you some chest variations man for functional strength for speed and endurance not just power so the chest routine that we're going to be doing is for functional strength, speed, and uh, muscle endurance. So, you know, the, the, the endurance that you need to keep your hands up in a fight, the endurance that you need to uh, be able to explode out of the pocket. Uh, you know, uh, those are, those are uh, more important for your fighters, also for looks. You know, if you're trying to uh, shed fat, if you're trying to cut a muscle up, if you're trying to pump as much muscle blood into that muscle as possible, you know what I mean? And um, this here is going to help you burn a lot more fat, a lot more calories by doing these higher reps. Um, again, you know, uh, getting cut up and all that shredded is done in the kitchen. It's not done um, in the gym. Only 10% of it's done in the gym. So uh, don't 
don't fall for you can outwork a bad diet and you can come in here and just work yourself out and go to McDonald's. That doesn't work like that, okay? So here it is, 260. I feel pretty warm, but I'm gonna drop it down one set and get a little burnout right now. So I'm dropping it back to 240. 140, my fault. Now I feel nice and warm. All right, time to go hit this chest. Let's get this chest work out in that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. One of my, one of my Lebanon, Lebanon brothers. What's going on, man? Right here, y'all know. Good my mom's from Lebanon, here, man. man. So me and him have been kicking it since I've been in here. He watched a lot of the videos, a lot of the workout videos, man. Absolutely. So we're getting ready to uh, catch this uh, chest. We just warmed up, hit this back. Anybody who wants to get in shape, follow this dude's routines. Appreciate that, man. I mean, they will kick your ass. Hell yeah. This guy knows Mike Tice. He knows everybody there is to know, man. He did setups for concerts and fights and stuff like that for the whole Vegas area, man. Absolutely. So any big show that's ever came through here, he's done setups for. It. Yep. So, 100%. Yeah, he's it's the man. Good. He's the man. Right on. Oh, we're about to hit this chest. Hit it hard, guys. Right, man. Shout out to Lebanon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, All right. Let's touch. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, man, we're getting ready to hit these uh, these dips. This is what I start my chest with or end my chest with every single workout, man. Um, the way I do my dips, I don't just get in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't do that. Uh, I get in here, I actually get a nice stretch and a pause at the bottom, and I explode out of the top. Again, this is giving you that explosive strength. For all you guys that are interested in these workouts, I'm going to give you power workouts, strength workouts, um, endurance workouts, um, explosive workouts, functional strength workouts. I'm going to give you a lot of different workouts, man. So stay tuned for these videos if you like to work out. If you don't like to work out, we got prison talk, we got fights, we got my live feeds every single day. But this right here, functional strength, explosive strength, endurance. So check this out, plus you're stretching the hell out of those shoulders, man. For you guys that have a lot of shoulder issues, like I do, I've had shoulder surgery, bicep surgery, torn load, uh, labrum, rotator cuff, and bicep. So this right here will help you get a good stretch and will help prevent injuries. If you cannot do dips, they have assisted dip machines that you can use that you can sit your knees on. That way it takes the weight off of your body, man. So there are assisted machines. You cannot do a dip. A lot of people can't do dips. So check out the assisted machines, all right? One set. I, I used. To, I like to do five sets of things, man. I don't like. Uh, I don't like the three rep, uh, three set 
ranges, man. I like fives. And then, like I said, I go to failure on most of the endurance workouts. And a lot of the um, uh, functional workouts, I do, I like to go to failures on pretty much everything because I'm using a weight that I can go to failure with. Um, if you know, you come in here and you're maxing out all the time, you're lifting as heavy as you can, that's not functional strength. That is more for power lifting, and it's only good for that one specific thing, and that's power lifting. Um, I broke state records on the bench for USAPL and power lifting, so I've done that sport. I know that sport real well, but if you are fighting, if you're doing any type of sporting activities, these type of workouts here, um, or you can do more sport-specific activities, you know, battle ropes, box jumps, cleaning jerks. I'll show you a lot of that type of stuff too, man. But right now we're doing a chest workout today and uh, this is functional chest. Set number two. Let's get it. Set number three. Let's get this money. Set number three. See how slow I'm doing those and explosive. I'm coming out of the bucket. Um, you have to be explosive to get out of the bucket off of a pause like that. So I'm coming down, I'm getting that pause. Yeah, go ahead, brother. I'm coming down off that pause and then I'm coming back. Explosive. That stretch, you're getting all that, you're getting that whole pec involved. You know what I'm saying? And that shoulder griddle right here. So it's a good, good workout, man. Good shit. And I'm gonna show you guys the bench after this. I'm gonna do uh do two more sets on this, and then I'm gonna show you some stuff that we're gonna do over here on the bench. It's one more set, one more set. Last set, last set, guys, last set.
All right, that was the last set. Get ready to go hit this uh, bench press up, and then I'll explain to you what I'm doing on this bench. This isn't a lay down five sets of eight or five sets of 12 bench. It's called step down sets, and I'll explain to you when I get over there. All right, here we're getting ready to do it's called a 30 drop set, guys. All right, so we're gonna be doing 30 all the way down to 20 with these uh, dumbbells. So you can do this with a bar also. I'll show you guys another day um, how to do this with the bar. But we're gonna be doing a 30 drop set, man, which means we're gonna be doing 30 reps, 29 reps, 28 reps, 27 reps, all the way down to 20. So I'm not gonna play every single um, set and rep on here. Uh, I'm gonna do a few and show you and then you know finish them off. But we're gonna start at 30 and go down to 20, man. So five of us, 30, 29, 28, 27, all the way down. I'll let you get the drift. And again, you gotta use a weight that you're able to use. This is not something heavy. Um, this, is, this should be something that is um, easy enough for you to work with throughout the entire workout. So this shouldn't be something that's gonna kill you on the first set and you can't give a 10 the next set. You should be able to get 30 to 29 all the way down um, so find a weight. I'm using 50 pound dumbbells. You might have to use 100 pound dumbbells. It's not gonna be regular dumbbell press. I'm actually gonna do Arnold dumbbell presses. So I'm gonna be coming down and I'm gonna be squeezing up here like that. This is gonna hit the under part of your chest. And for you guys that are trying to hit the under part, which is the hard part of the chest to really get hit, I'm doing regular bar presses unless you're doing declines. This is a perfect, uh, a perfect dumbbell routine to actually hit the under part of that chest. All right, so 29, again, not a lot of rest in between sets, guys. One minute max. One minute max. If you can't, if you have to take more than one minute, then you, the weight's too heavy. set is going to be 28 and you will rock these down to 20 all right now not taking breaks in between sets the rep ranges that you're doing 
you're hitting different angles. This is all for functional strength, endurance. It gets you a little winded. I'm a little winded, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this builds your endurance, and it builds automatically. It's gonna build muscle endurance. This is the type of endurance that you need. We're here in the last round, and you gotta let it all hang out. It all has to be on the line. Man, your muscles are on fire. Your endurance is dead. Your wind is gone. Those muscles are just on fire. Can't hardly keep your arms up. This is the type of workout right here that's gonna help you keep those arms up. This is the type of workout right here that's gonna keep that fucking shit rolling. All right? So, we're down on 28. All right, I'm on set uh, 25. 25 reps right now, guys. So, get a few more sets. Set 25. Let's get this shit. Let's do it. 25, 25. Another variation. Five, down to 24, down to 24. Let's get this shit. Down to 24. All right. Once we get down, then after this set, I'm gonna show you another variation. But right now, this is 24. All right, I'm gonna go back and forth with my arms like I'm throwing punches. So, up to 24. So watch this and then we're gonna do, do one on punches. All right? So it's important, man. All these different variations are important. And then you can start them all over again. So, um, but I can, I got several different variations that you can use with dumbbells for pressing. All right? So watch this set right here. set, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be holding one arm up. You might be like, well, you didn't get 24 because you're not doing 24 with both arms. This next set is going to make up for it because I'm down on 23 and the 23 is going to be 23 with each arm. One arm is going to be holding up as a balance and you're coming down, you're throwing that jab. While this arm is up, you're throwing this jab. All right. While this arm is up, you're throwing a jab here. So, it's, uh, you're going to get 24 with each arm.
22. 21. And then 20. And that's it for our presses. All right. Now this is all flat bench day. This is all flat bench. I'm going to take you guys through an incline day. But the exercises are going to change. So I'm going to take you through a bunch of different variables. I'm going to take you through a bar day where things change. So uh, you just have to follow along, man. 21. Remember, there's not much rest in between these. All right? 21. Let's get it. We all deserve some high fives. For now, a big clean thumbs up is a clean center way to tell your fellow members way to go. You gotta take some of these gems that I'm giving you in between the set. So don't fast forward the video just to look at the exercises because I'm giving you a lot of gems in between here and a lot of instruction in between here. All right. Um, again, you know, I have three different gym memberships, guys. So, you know, being in the tractor trailer business and stuff, there is no excuse not to be able to get in shape, okay? No excuse. This is Planet Fitness where I'm at right now. These are very convenient gyms. Anytime Fitnesses are very convenient gyms. They're 24 hours a day, they're nationwide. So if you're in a truck and you're all over the nation, you can take showers here, you can work out here, and they're all over the nation. I literally never have to drive the tractor trailer more than five to 10 miles out of my way to get to one of these, okay? So, and for what it costs to take a shower at a truck stop, you can take a shower here, get a black card, $22 a month. One of the cheapest gyms there is, one of the most convenient gyms there is, and it has enough stuff for you to do what you need to do to stay in shape while you're on the road. Um, if, you know, if you're local, and of course, there's way better options if you're gonna go to the same gym every day. But if you're over the road and you're in a truck or whatever your business may be, Planet Fitnesses and Anytime Fitnesses are key to staying in shape. All right, now I got a lot of calisthenic videos on my channel. You can definitely do the calisthenic videos, but these right here are key if you're gonna lift weights. I didn't say if you're gonna be some, you know, uh, USAPL powerlifter, I've been there, I've done that, and this would not be the gym I would go to for that. But there are plenty of gyms for you to go to and plenty of places for you to train at to get what you need to get. So, this is the last set, and I hope that you take heed to everything that I'm saying in these videos. Um, I got a lot more instruction videos coming for you guys, calisthenics, training videos, a lot of different stuff. Um, I know this ain't edited right, I'm doing this off of my phone. You know, I'm not very smart when it comes to this technology stuff, but you get the drift. Very raw, very direct content. That's how you get that motherfucking work right there, y'all. That's how you get that motherfucking work. It's the last set. Gonna hit these motherfucking peck deck up. Follow us on over here. Alright, y'all. Last workout. Last workout, guys. Last set. We're doing a uh, peck deck. This will give you last little stretch that you need to get in here. I'm trying to get this camera angle to where it needs to be at. There we go. All right, 
So this pec neck is the last uh, exercise. I like this exercise here. It gives you a final stretch in your chest, all right? I like to grab this out here. I don't like to use the handles. That way I can get a little bit more of a stretch. You each room, you can do it however you want to do it. I like to grab out wide. So I'm right here, guys. Again, I'm doing this to failure. Um, whatever rep range, I like between 20s and 30s. Whatever you can get 20s and 30s with, man. So, uh, to each their own. When it comes to weight, everybody's weight is going to be different. So, um, right now I got it on I think one 130, and I'm doing sets of between 20s and 30s. So it doesn't take a shit ton of weight. It doesn't take you putting on the stack every single set to get uh, functional muscle endurance, okay? It's not powerlifting, all right? This is very short rests, uh, very high reps, a lot of burn, uh, a lot of endurance, uh, a lot more technique involved than just trying to throw up heavy weight, all right? You wanna feel the muscle, you wanna feel the muscle burn, you wanna concentrate on the muscle that you're working, all right? You want to watch that muscle grow. You want to watch that muscle fatigue. You want to watch that muscle get stronger. Every time you come in here, man, you want to you want to see some gains, man. And if you're not making gains anymore, you need to switch your workouts up, man. I've said this before. A body, a human body, is very adaptive, man. We adapt very easily to and get used to doing the same repetitive stuff over and over and over again. So you need to switch up everything that you do to consistently achieve new goals okay all right now me I, I try to just maintain but even just maintenance even just trying to maintain at 44 years old i have to switch and trick my body up consistently no i'm not trying to bench 500 pounds again no i'm not trying to go in the ufc but i consistently want to look good feel good i want my body to be able to perform when i need it to perform um whether it's physically or just getting off the couch you want to be able to perform for the rest of your life man and you have to consistently trick your body up to be able to do those types of things Okay. All right. Back on the tech deck. These last four sets here. Again, man, I use the pec deck at the end of most of my chest exercises. This gives me my final stretch and my pecs at the very end. I like either the dips or the pec deck, man, at the end. I usually use the pec deck at the end, though. But definitely one or the other. All right. It's a good variety stuff that I showed you today for, uh, for chest. Uh, I'm going to give you other chest routines from inclines to hammer strength to bar pressure. Man, I'm going to show you a lot of different variations 
of stuff that you can do for your chest. Um, we're gonna mix it up. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing with back routines, same thing with leg routines, same thing with arms and shoulder routines, man. I'm gonna show you a lot of different variations, a lot of different workouts, a lot of different things, man, that'll uh, help you out um, with a lot of different issues that you're having. I'll uh, show you some power routines also, um, a lot of endurance stuff. And uh, yeah, man, now remember, guys, you know, a lot of you guys ask, well, I mean, you know, the more sets I do, the more reps I do, the more cut I'm gonna get. Uh, remember, at the end of the day, getting cut, getting defined, all that comes from what you eat, everything comes from what you have in the kitchen. Um, you know, if my diet was 10 times better than it is, my work ethic is there, I could be a whole lot more shredded. I keep a healthy lifestyle, a healthy diet. I don't take things from one extreme to the other. So remember, if you're trying to power lift, or if you're trying to do bodybuilding shows, there's gonna be, or if you're fighting, there's gonna be different extremes that you're gonna have to take. There's gonna be different um, diet tips, there's gonna be different types of workouts that you're gonna have to do to achieve those type of goals. This is a bodybuilding uh, workout here, and it's uh, functionally fit for fighting and uh, anything to do with muscle endurance, all right? And anything to do with more of sculpting and defining your muscles. We're not doing a powerlifting routine, okay? Next set. One more set of these, and then we're going to call that a chest routine, guys. Um, it's all you need. You don't want to overtrain the chest. I mean, honestly, catching those 30 down to 20s is excessively shit. But when you're doing stuff for muscle endurance, sometimes you have to be excessive. Because when you're in a fight, and you're in the last round, and you can't keep those hands up, the more excessive you are in your training, the better off you're going to be in those later rounds. Remember, guys, you're not. Everybody's not going to finish a fight. Sometimes it's going to be in those championship rounds. Sometimes it's going to be in those rounds where you're dead ass tired and you just can't keep those hands up and you want to quit. These type of workouts right here are going to make you not have to worry about looking for that way out. Your opponent's going to be looking for his way out. Now, I'm not saying this ain't on top of your training.